in this video, we're going to define object-oriented programming, and we're going to define inheritance by adding Ash to our champion roster. And so in the previous video, we added Jin, and we added the code for it as well. And we're going to expand on this code by adding Ash as well. Um, as you can see here, Jin has some properties that we added in the previous video. Um, summoner name, max health, current health, attack damage, magic resist, and armor. Um, if we want to add Ash to, to the champions as well, um, Ash also has the same properties as Jin. Uh, maybe the numbers are different, but um, as you can see in the league client, league game, um, Ash also has all of these attributes. So we're going to actually just create another class and we're going to call it Ash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these variables because Ash has these exact same variables here. Um, and then in order to create a copy of Ash, so when a player chooses Ash, they need to create a copy of it in the game. We need to give the player the ability to create a copy of Ash when they choose it in Champion Select. So instead of the name of the function being Jin, it's going to be Ash this time. And again, we're going to take in the player's summoner name as input. So if your summoner name is uh, dark, then it's going to get copied here. Now, Ash may have a different uh, maximum health than Jin. Uh, I'm just going to say Ash has a higher HP. And the current health will always be the same as the max health when you spawn into the game. And the attack damage is obviously different for Ash. I think it's lower than Jin. And you have magic resist, which usually is the same. And we can have an armor value of 60 for Ash. And this will let us create a copy of Ash in the game. Now over here, we have a way for Jin to spawn. And in our game, since we don't have any graphics, um, all, we're, all we're doing when uh, we spawn a champion is we just um, print it onto the, screen, uh, onto the screen. So we're going to have the same function for Ash where we can spawn Ash as well. And instead of saying Jin, this should say Ash. But the rest of it is the same, right? They have summoner name, attack damage, magic resist, current HP, and max health. So just like before, where we were able to create Jin and Lee, we can actually now create Ash. So if I say, so let's say one player chooses Jin and another player um, chooses Ash as their champion. So let's create a copy of Ash. And the summoner name that creates Ash, let's say it is Athen. Okay, so uh, uh, Aphromo decides to support with Ash for some reason, and we can just print, um, we can spawn Ash into the game by saying ash.spawn here. And if we play uh, here, and we're going to spawn Jin as well. And if we play this, we're going to see that we have an inst a copy of Ash and a copy of um, Second, I think I have something here. Yep, I need to print it into the onto the screen. I'm going to say Take a look at this. It's going to say there are two champions right now. After it says "Welcome to Summoner's Rift," we have Jin uh, played by Dark, and we have Ash played by Afro. Um, and you can see each of them have their own stats and everything. So now that we have this too, and I think it, this was pretty simple if you followed uh, on the previous video. The issue I want to show you here is that we have Jin and we have Ash, and they both have the same attributes. Uh, mainly summoner name, max health, current health, attack damage, magic versus an armor, uh, but they just have different values. So if we were to create another champion, and let's say we create Morgana, um, we would have to, again, copy paste all of these attributes and um, assign them different values. And imagine if you have 120 different champions and you have to repeat the same thing. Now, let's say, uh, 
you know, the, the people designing champions, they come up with this brilliant idea that they want to remove armor from the game. Uh, so what you would have to do then is to go into each of these champions and then remove armor uh, one by one. And you may miss one, you may not miss one. And you can also think that if someone is developing a new uh, champion and by some for some reason they forget to add magic resist into the attributes and it could potentially lead to a, a bug in the game and you're going to have players raging at you. So programmers wanted to come up with a way to remove all these copy pastes of the same attributes um, in, in different classes. And the way you do that is called inheritance and I can show you how. So if you think about it, Jin is a champion and Ash is also a champion, right? So they're, they're champions with different abilities, but they're both champions. So what I can do is I can create a class and I'm going to call it champion. And what we're going to say is that the champion class um, has all of these variables here. So any class, any champion will have a summoner name, max health, current health, attack damage, magic, armor, right? No matter if it's Akali, if it's Zed, if it's Morgana, it doesn't matter. Like they all have these attributes. So we're going to have this in this one class. And what we're going to do is we're going to say Jim um, is a champion, and but it may have more functionality than the base champion, but it, it has everything that is in that class. And the way we say that is extends champion. And now we can just remove all of this. And we have our class. It's nice and clean. And we can do the same thing with Ash. We're going to say Ash is a champion. And we're going to say extends champion. And we're going to remove all of this. And now you can see how much cleaner the code became and um, easier to follow. You don't have to add these variables manually every time you create a champion. So if I wanted to create Morgana now, um, all I have to do is extend the champion class and I would have it. And the reason you, you call it inheritance is because um, if you think about it, like a, uh, let's say uh, the, a child, right, always inherits some attributes from the uh, father and the mother, right? But they may have some extra attributes, but they inherit some uh, as well. So this is the same here. So we inherit some <clears throat> attributes from champions from this uh, class, but Ash may have some things unique to themselves, which we could add here, um, in, over here. So we can extend the Ash, extend the champion class and add more functionality to it. So if you can see here, Ash and Jin have these variables in common, but Ash has a different code for spawning and a different code for, uh, creating a copy of it. And the same goes for Jin. So they have some common attributes. They're both the children of champion, but they're unique uh, in their in the two different functions that they have. And this is basically called inheritance. And the reason I explained it this way is so you understand why it exists rather than memorizing it. Um, programmers want to be really efficient. Um, and uh, I myself, I'm pretty lazy. So the most efficient way is always the best way and this also leads to less copy pasting of code. And that's always the best way to do it because as soon as you copy paste, if there's an issue in that copy paste code and you have to fix it, now you have to fix it in 10 places instead of one. So um, this makes it very simple to, to do that. And this leads me to explaining object oriented programming. Uh, the whole point of object oriented programming is to um, make a problem, break it down into classes, into objects. Now objects, classes, beans, they, it has all different names. Uh, but the idea is what you're seeing here, how we have Jin as its own class, Ash as its own class, Champion as its own class, and we make these different objects and we put them together and we get a program. So if you think about <clears throat> League of Legends, and you have Jin, you have Ash, you have Baron as an as an object. You have um, the map as an object, for example, the tower as an object, and you put all of that together and you get League of Legends. So everything is just different objects that come together. Uh, this is basically called object-oriented programming, and inheritance is one of the pillars.
that, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Give it a try yourself. Um, try to create a another class and um, extend the champion uh, class and try to spawn spawn it on into to, into our game, which would be which would look like this. All right, peace.